Do you often compare yourselves to your colleagues at work? Do you wish you had their job title, their income, perhaps the amount of influence they have in the organization? Now, implicit in all of these scenarios is a sense of social status or social hierarchy. And it can often lead to feelings of isolation, loneliness, and social rejection. And researchers like George Slavich and Steve Cole, who study social genomics, have found that this kind of social rejection is perceived by the body just like any other kind of physical injury. In other words, it elicits uh, a sense of inflammation in our cells, uh, which predisposes us to many diseases like diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and so on. In other words, the link between our health and social status is a very strong one. And feeling this kind of social hierarchy at work can actually be making us sick. Now, it should come as no surprise that uh, in countries where there is a wide uh, income inequality, uh, such as the US, UK, and some developing nations, these countries have twice the rates of mental disease and obesity, and um, life expectancy rates are three to five years lesser than in more equitable countries like Japan and Scandinavia. So how can we rise up to this challenge of social status in a wiser way at work? Well, the first thing to remember is that uh, even though we may not have any control over our job title or the amount of money that we make or our influence, we do have a lot of control over our perceived sense of the social status or our status in society. So the first thing to start to do is to remember that we are often fueling and refueling any sense of social rejection and isolation that we may have with our own thinking and rumination. Uh, we also need to realize that uh, the social status is a game that we can never, ever win. No matter how much we achieve, there will always be somebody who is doing more or who has more than us. So instead, we can let go and get off the social comparison ladder and rest easy. Instead, we can turn our attention and focus on developing our social support system at work. We can find like-minded individuals who share our values and our interests uh, and who will help us when uh, we need uh, support. On the flip side, and perhaps best of all, we can start moving from a mindset of always looking at what we can get in a certain situation to a mindset of giving. And research has shown that this actually has the completely opposite effect uh, on information in ourselves. So when we are generous and when we give to others, it actually reduces information and it helps us to live uh, longer and happier, no matter what our social status might be. I'm Parneet Pal, and this is the Science of Wellbeing at Work.